Composition Using Beer Cans by Doris Charest. We're going to analyze the design on this beer can and see if it can apply to our paintings. These designs are great designs and we can learn a lot from them. So what can we learn from this beer can? There's a light area at the bottom and then this shape that's a honeycomb against a, an, an angle. So the text is at an angle and then we have a half circle and another circle. So the shapes repeat and almost touch. So that helps guide our eye towards the focal point. And the focal point in this design is the name of the beer. So we start with light at the bottom and then a lighter area where you put the amber lager on and then a medium color where the bee and the honeycombs are and that's against a darker color where the honey brown is written against an even darker color where the lo logo is written in white against it. And there's a circle that a dot always attracts our eye, so that helps bring the eye up. So you have the dark at the bottom leading all the way up and our eyes being guided towards that logo. We have that medium area where the honeycomb is and it's going light against medium against light against medium against darker against darker again against light. So we're creating contrasts all the way through. And that's what's happening here. Even on the outside of the honeycomb, we have a lighter area that makes that medium light color look dark. And there's little spots there that are darker, but they're there to help guide your eye up towards the design. So this is really smart design. And what they're doing is the guiding your eye around. Can you do that in your painting? That's the question. So you have that darker area against a lighter area against another dark area. They're creating contrast the whole time. And at the same time, they're guiding our eye. So they're being not tricky, but smart, pointing out what the important part is. And that's what you want when you're designing a painting or you're creating a painting. Most of us do it that intuitively and we just do it without thinking. But here, can you spot it? Here you have a very large painting of fish under the water. So you have little dark areas that show where the fish are, but they're not completely defined. And then the focal point is really the water above. So you have light areas against dark areas and textured areas against plain areas. Here in this one, you have a very plain shape. And then in the background, there's angles and pattern and design that guide our eye towards that focal point. Those three flowers. That's a very light light against the dark. There's more. There's more ways of doing this. So in this one, you have a very small dark that our eyes being led to by light areas in the bottom part and light areas in the top part. So contrast again. So that's a composition tip that we can take from the beer. Here's another one. Here you have a painting that has light areas against dark areas. There's some bigger ones at the bottom and they get smaller contrast. There's a line that looks like a road that brings our eye in to the focal point, which is the yellow clouds and the red clouds. So it's doing the same thing as what's happening on the beer can. So you have light areas against dark areas, and it all leads to the focal point, and our eye rests there. And that's what you want in a good composition. So do this in your next composition and we'll see you the next time.